Hi there, this is Andreas Bagwani. Uh, I'm the CEO and one of the largest shareholders of Nanologica. I'm here in the lag with Pega. Pega, first of all, you're going to run an experiment, but first of all, who are you? I'm a scientist in drug development uh, at Nanologica, and uh, yeah, today I'm going to run uh, our sample, our silica particle at NGI, the new instrument that we have. So this is an instrument, and what does this instrument do? Uh, this instrument is actually a long simulator, and it shows us that silica particle that we are using, uh, where it goes theoretically in the lung that we have so uh, so it's sort of a theoretical um, uh, measurement of where in the lung a drug for example would exactly, go the drug that is loaded inside the okay exactly. okay okay so um, here we can see well it's very you can see that these are the silica particles inside some kind of vial um, and what happens next? Yeah, good to mention that this is a demo. We don't have any API inside silica particles, so these are unloaded uh, silica. So, so the particles are empty, particles no drugs empty. inside. And uh, because of that, we don't have any mass. Otherwise, we needed to put a proper mask for that. Okay, good so to know. So this is a demo, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the inhaler that we're going to use. It's going to be filled with a loaded silica particle uh, after that, and then we can close it. Totally. We usually tr run three inhaler for one measurement, and this is the system. It, it's, uh, it has uh, some. It includes some uh, cups inside that. This is the inlet. This is the pre-separator. So this is how we run the setup. So it's supposed to mimic some kind of inhalation or what? Yes, it's exactly simulating the inhalation when, when a patient takes an inhaler and just takes a deep breath through, through the lungs. So it's kind of four seconds to until a patient can take a breath through the lungs. It's kind of four seconds to until a patient can take a breath through the lungs. So it's kind of four seconds to until a patient can take a breath through the lungs. So now you're opening up the patient, <laughs> and we're gonna see These where. Are quite big particles that are stuck uh, probably in the throat. Throat, okay. So it's kind of like a pre-separator for the system. Mm -hmm. And then. Ah, okay. So, so this then should be different parts of the lung. So we, the particles have landed here. Yeah, exactly. So as you can see, there's a pattern for ah, yeah. inside there. Okay. And uh, it's a sort of from a, a bigger, I mean, this is the stage one, mm -hmm. when the most of the, I mean, it goes like that, the bigger size to the smaller size. And, and in the lung, so this would be sort of in the deep lung over here yes to the right and yes, it will be in the throat basically over to the left yes exactly throat to the to the deeper side of the lung okay here actually sub micron of particle end up and 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 now you're gonna start um, how do how do you know how do you understand how much gets into which part of the you know this very yeah. shiny lung yeah it's usually analyzed the data analyzed we need to collect it all the particles from mm -hmm. the cups with a proper solution based on the API that we have inside the particle because API is gonna release to that solution and then after filtration we run it into the HPLC mm. and see that how much of drug is actually in which stage and then based on that we can see that how efficient and how the efficiency of the system that we are working with. Okay, so in theory this delivers the the um, 
the, the particles with in if this would be in live would have been um, drug inside the particles mm -hmm. and and then we're going to see how much is in each cup we're going to measure that exactly and and then we know basically where uh, in the line it will land exactly sure. okay thank you very much for this introduction Pega. <laughs>